what is up? It is good to be back again. Good morning, good noon, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are at. Whenever you're watching this, doesn't matter. It's the morning for me. If you know me, I like getting my workout done in the morning, but if you have to work out midday or at night, or if you work all night and you have to work out really early morning, it's all good. You gotta get in when you can get in and make it consistent for yourself. That's the biggest thing. For me, I like working out in the morning just because I like eating a bunch at night, then either fasting in the morning or having a shake, no real solid food, and then going straight to the gym. Like My body works really well like that. You gotta find what works for your body, whether it's eating three, four meals and then going at night, or maybe just having one meal going in the morning or midday, or whenever your schedule pertains for you to allow to go. Either way, you just have to do it and find what works for you, but stay consistent with it. And then if you can stay consistent with it, then you can, over time, get results. But today, we're gonna work out at the gym. It's gonna be a full body, athletic type of workout. I'm gonna start with squats. If you wanna squat today, you can squat today and then we can do upper body after. If you don't really wanna to squat today, just warm up with squats. Do like maybe two to three sets just to get your, your hips, your blood moving, your hips warmed up, your back warmed up, your legs, everything. I think squatting is an excellent way to warm up for your upper body because I've talked about this before. If your body, if your legs are your biggest muscle group in the body and you're moving it, you're gonna get that much more blood flow to your whole entire body. So I'm gonna start off with probably legs today at the gym. Well, before legs, I'm gonna do my normal warm up, as you guys know, jump rope, pull ups, air squats, then some weighted squats. Then we'll get into some upper body workout stuff. So let's get to the gym. Okay, so I'm in the gym now, I'm all warmed up. I jumped rope, I did some pull ups, I did the usual routine, which I usually do. So if you don't know what that is, go to my previous videos, but I'm gonna get into the squats right now. Uh, just a few sets, actually a handful. So I'm gonna do a full leg workout, but then after the leg workout, I'm gonna do upper body. So like I said before, if you don't wanna do legs, just warm up your legs, three sets of squats, gonna be really easy, maybe 40, 60%, and then get into the upper body portion. But if you wanna do it, then follow this next part. That is the squats. I did 135 all the way up to one, or 135 all the way up to one, 135 up to 365. Now I'm gonna come back down, 315, two plates for reps. And then uh, do that for maybe like, do the two plates for maybe two to three sets. And then we will start the upper body portion of the workout. Remember, if you are doing 
legs. Your upper body's gonna grow. If you're warming up legs, your whole body's gonna warm up. Honestly, like I have some of the best upper body workouts when I do legs before. Not like necessarily right now because I'm really like hitting legs hard. But just try it. Next time you do upper body, whatever it is, go uh, go under the barbell and squat like maybe three sets at a decent weight. It's, it's not really hard, but it's not easy. And just get your blood moving. You're, it's gonna shock your body and to prepare your nervous system for upper body. Give it a shot. But yeah, I'm gonna finish the legs here and then we're gonna hit some upper, upper body. That is it for the squats slash the warm up for the workout. Not really, it's, it's, it's a big part of the workout, but now we're gonna get into the upper body. First thing I'm gonna do is push-ups, but not just normal push-ups. It's gonna be an explosive type of athletic push-up. We're gonna go close, uh, close grip, and then wide grip. Close grip, wide grip. We're gonna do that for 20 reps, so 10 and 10. Um, go back and forth, and you're gonna wanna try to get, like, you're gonna wanna do this as fast and as quickly as you can. So you can target fast uh, twitch type 2B muscle fibers, which will help you become more explosive and a better athlete. And it'll help you increase your heart rate and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, let's get started. Right, 20 reps total, 10 close, 10 wide, explosively. It's gonna get your heart rate up, and then after rest for about 30 seconds after the push ups because you're gonna be pretty tired, and then get right into pull ups. And the type of pull ups you're gonna want to do, if you can, if you can't do normal pull ups, if you can't do normal pull ups, do assisted. But if you can, this is more advanced movement. You want to go close grip, wide grip, close grip, wide grip. So the same as push ups, but we're gonna do in the pull bar, pull up bar. I can't speak right now. Uh, only for 10 reps total, five and five. 20 would be a lot, so let's get the pull-up started. All right, so did the five and five, 10 total pull-ups. Um, as you saw, I kept a little bit, use my knees. It's not super strict. If you can do it super strict, do it. If you can't, don't worry about kipping a little bit. Kipping's gonna allow you to, yeah, technically cheat a little bit, but it's gonna allow you to do them faster, more explosively, and also engage your core, because when you're kipping, you're actually like transferring it to your upper body through your core. So there are benefits to kipping. You don't wanna do it all the time, but there's a time and place for both. And this is the time and place if you need to kip. Okay, I'm done with the workout. Did the squats. That took like an hour, hour and a half. Squats take your time. 
take your time if you take time for the squats. Especially like recovering, doing like heavy sets and then back off sets, it, it takes a while. Um, and then I did the push-ups and pull-ups, as you guys saw. I did that for a total of seven sets. And every, no, not, not seven, six sets, so a lot. And in, in between every set, take like, not full recovery, but make sure you can have enough energy for the next set. After that, I did the push-up to rows, just with the 30s. I did that for six sets as well. Um, 10 reps total uh, in each arm. And then, all I did was a burnout push-up and dips. I didn't film it, but I did that for three sets. Just burnout, each one. And then full recovery, burnout, full recovery, burnout, full recovery, burnout. So just three giant sets, of, or just three super sets of upper body after the squats. Um, that concludes today's workout. It's very, very simple. It's, I don't do anything crazy, like I said before. Like, I don't do like 10 different exercises. Like, if something feels good, I'll do it. So all that stuff felt good, so I just did more sets of it. Um, but yeah, that concludes today's athletic full body routine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you wanna see anything more specific on a body part or a certain type of training, comment below what you wanna see. But until next time, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Hey, just kidding, not ending the video yet. I am gonna eat now. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat. It's a big secret. You ready? It's... Well, it's just pokey, so it's not really a big secret. So this is this is one of my favorite meals that I eat after I work out. Um, if I'm gonna go out to eat and have it be somewhat clean. It's just spicy tuna, ahi tuna, white rice, and seaweed. Nothing crazy, there's like ponzu sauce in it and sesame oil, I think. So it's not, it's still really flavorful. But yeah, this is just one of the types of food I eat if I go out. I might, there's like a handful of other places that I go, maybe I'll make a video on that, of places to eat out while still enjoying the taste, but keeping a certain diet. If you want that video, like this video, but comment below um, if you wanna see it. So now the vlog's over and I'm done. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next vlog.